Today I'd like to talk about one of the most fundamental aspects of an engine and that is torque. What is torque and how is it measured? Torque is measured in typically one of two ways. Pound feet, which is the weight of one pound at one foot radius from a pivoting point, or newton meters, which is one newton at one meter. And one newton is equal to about 103 grams. One foot pound, that is one pound at 12 inches, is the same as four pound at three inches from your pivot point. Combustion pressure pushes on the top of the piston, the force travels down through the rod, and at 45 millimeter radius, in the case of a 90 millimeter crankshaft, pushes and turns the crankshaft. So there is our torque, the force multiplied by the radius 45 millimeters. This Civic SI, when tuned, can make easily 280 pound-feet of torque or 380 newton meters. So what does that translate to in terms of force? Well, here's a piston, relatively small piston, from this Civic SI. In order to generate that amount of torque, you have to put 1,400 pounds of weight on the top of the piston. 1,400 pounds is equivalent to taking everything forward of this line and condensing it down into a single mass and putting it on the top of the piston. That is a lot of force. The most important tuning tables in the computers for the modern turbocharged Hondas are the torque limit tables. Here is the economy torque limit for the standard CVT Civic, starting a little bit over 240 newton meters, bringing it down to 220, and then at the top end, above 5,000 RPM, rolling the torque off just to make the gear shift a little bit smoother. And this is why in several markets, the Honda Civic is known as the Civic 220, because it relates to the 220 newton meters of torque that this vehicle makes. So what we have here is 250 newton meters, which is otherwise known as the Hondata plus 6 PSI calibration. Let's make things a little bit easier for the CVT. So let's find a way of making the torque a little bit more gradually um, increase. So let's take the values under 2750 under RPM and decrease the torque just a little bit. Take, let's take it down to 230 newton meters. And at 3000 RPM, let's take that down to 240 newton meters. So the computer is commanding a little bit less torque to start off with, and then increases the torque up to and flat at 250 newton meters. So, how does the computer limit torque? Well, let's have a look at this value here at 3000 RPM. The computer has a torque limit of 240 newton meters. The computer limits the torque in one of two ways. It limits the torque by altering the wastegate position on your turbocharger by opening or closing the wastegate to get more or less boost. And the computer will also adjust the throttle plate position to adjust the amount of air that's going past the throttle plate. So it's quite common to see the throttle plate being pulled back 10, 15, 20%, something like that. Now, on the newer Civics and Accords and all the new turbo vehicles, the throttle plate here is not directly connected to your throttle pedal. The throttle plate is under direct control of the computer the entire time. So if you need a little bit of reduction in power because the wheels are spinning, the wheels are slipping, then the computer will close the throttle plate. If you need a little bit more throttle plate to help spool the turbo between two and 3,000 RPM, the computer can sometimes give you way more throttle than your foot's indicating to help spool the turbo. With the torque tables, you have full control to lower or raise your torque levels to the full amount that your turbocharger will support. However, your CVT or manual transmission cannot handle the full amount of torque that this turbocharger is capable of making. So what is power then? Power is simply torque multiplied by RPM. 